All right, so then when I get to the supporting question, this is actually for me. This is not for the student. When I show you what this slide looks like, and this is not to stress you out, it's more to have you think through standards. So when I look at this through here, standards that are one through five that are here, these are all inquiry standards right here. They can be taught through this supporting question. Okay? I only have one content standards in there, so it's a historical question. I put the letter H there for me. Those are not listed in the standards that way. They're all SS in their standards, and they have numbers to them. But here's what I want to do when I'm making sure that I'm creating my questions that are supporting questions. I want to think through those disciplines, too. This is a historical question here. If we go to my next supporting one, who are the Native Americans and who are the Meskwaki, that's looking at groups of people. That's going to hit some behavioral science. That's also going to hit um, some political scientists, activist types of questions. And just who are those people in that way? So I have that realm that I know. Then I have how does movement impact people? It's that whole idea of movement again that we're talking about. That's a geographer type of question and where people are going and where people are moving to. It could also be that it has some political scientists and some history to it, too. So some of these questions actually fit more than one discipline. The last one is a, total, is a civics question about cultures colliding and how when they do move west, then what happens? And when people continually to move, look at the news right now. I mean, the whole idea of the caravan. Okay, well, the cultures are colliding right now, aren't they? So there's all sorts of modern day things that also fit into those questions in that way. Right? So when I'm, when I'm thinking of this, for me to think about what standards I'm going to assess, I list them underneath each category. So when I was doing some bundling that we're going to get into here in a little while, that's how I bundled mine to think about it. I knew it was going to go for this unit. Now after I've got my unit and I've thought of what my questions might be, my driving questions, what standards might I assess with each one in that way? And that's why I list them in that way. There's nothing anywhere that says that you should do that. It helps my brain think of it. So I just wanted to share that. That's one of the things that helps me.